Right everyone, we're Fletcher here. This is part three. We're going to start making the crossbow now. So, <coughs> you should get your designs, get your plans. Something I didn't mention again. You might need a bit of sellotape just to tape these two together. Get this basic plan and what you're going to have to do is cut round this black line, the thick black line. And stay on the outside of the black line for the uh, outside and for the the prod hole cut on the inside but right, now one thing I have to mention about the prod hole if you're using the same prod as me you have to have this shape you're gonna need this shape hole for this kind of prod because that's the shape of it if you've got a normal flat prod then you're going to need to cut your hole in a simple rectangle shape like that that's just slightly bigger all the way round from the prod. So if you do that about 2 or 3 mil bigger each way round, like top, bottom, side, side, that should fit the prod in easily. Maybe a bit bigger, let's say about four mil. Uh, it doesn't matter if it's too big because you're also going to need to be able to fit these ends through if they don't come off. Same with a prod like this. If you've got a big prod that hole's not going to be big enough. So you may even have to bring the whole of the stock down like that. I don't know if you see that. And then bring this hole down further. See what I mean there? <coughs> so basically make that hole and the end of the stock fit your rod and then cut it out. So that hole all it's got to be is about three or four mil all the way round bigger than the prod so it slides in easily. Uh, it might not have to, actually don't do it 3 or 4 mil on the top or bottom, just do it like 1 or 2 mil on top and bottom, but give it a bit of gap on either side, you know, just as long as it fits in. Alright, so let's start cutting this out. Now once it's cut out, we'll put it onto the wood, mark it onto the wood, and then cut the wood out. And I'm going to use just a hand saw, possibly a coping saw, and some files. You could use a band saw or a jigsaw, whatever you've got. Keep these off cut bits because you may need those for me to show you where the other parts go later on. Or we may need to print out another set. We'll see when the time comes. Oh and if you don't want to do these finger grooves don't bother. I only did the finger grooves and I don't know if you can tell. That handle and trigger guard is copied off of a Glock. And this back bit is copied off of a, a Beretta. I carry on cutting it out. And you can change this design if you want. This is just the very simple design. I'm going to do a more complicated version at a later date. After this one, I'll do the more complicated one. Right, so there is your template cut up. Right, now what you want to do 
you just get one of the pieces of wood, one of the 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 twelve mil bits. You place your template on any way you want, you know, as long as it's all gonna have to be cut anyway. There's no like there's no way you can put this on to save you cutting really. Do less cutting. But uh Put this on your wood, mark it. Sharp wood pencil a bit. Mark your uh, mark your wood around the template now. Just check that. Just draw around it. You could use a marker pen if you wanted. <coughs> and then once this is done, we'll uh Cutting it. Right, I'm going to leave them bits there just so I'm straight edge. Oh, that's my saw. <coughs> ah, one thing I did forget. Cut out your hole here. For your, uh, your prod, find a stone in there forever it is. Cut this on the inside. It don't matter if it's too small because we can just file it bigger, file the hole, the hole bigger later on. Right, there's the hole for the prod. Now mark that on as well. Also, if you do have to do a different prod size, <coughs> make sure that it's the same distance from there to where the prod is on uh, for the for the hole, you know, don't actually bring it more forward or, or further back. It's got to still be in line. Just bring it down further, you know, or in or whatever, whatever you need to do to fit your prod. Right. Do not throw this away because you might you're going to need it later for these holes. <coughs> right. What you want to do now is get. Turn this over, get this piece of wood, right, in the three mil bit, and if yours fits the size right, sandwich it in the middle, and then put all three pieces together. Because mine's too short, I'm going to have to cut this down the middle to make to a piece, two pieces together. Hopefully you've got a bit that is exactly the same size, so just sandwich all three pieces together uh, and and then I'll tell you what to do in a minute. I've just got to cut this first. I won't do this on camera because there's no point. And I'll come back in a minute with this cut. Right, so what you're going to want to do now is get your piece of wood, turn it face down. Oh, you, should already, you should already have this done actually. So you have that bit there. Put your thin bit in the middle, but because mine is not the right side, I'm going to have to do it this way, but don't like that. Right, so then you have sandwich with your thin bit in the middle. And 
And then what we're going to do, we're going to put screws in, in, I don't know, one, two, three, four, five places. And then that holds all the pieces together to then, to then, uh, cut it out. All in one go, you know, you don't have to cut three pieces then. But to make sure all your pieces are in the right place, just make sure mine are. Right, mine's all in place now, so I'm going to put a couple of screws in. Uh, any screwdriver would do, or one of these, or a cordless drill. I'm going to use one of these Yankee screwdrivers to put mine in. So you're now going to need your screws, the ones that don't go all the way through. You start off the hole with rattle. I can find one to get. You can use longer screws if you want, it won't make that much difference at this point. Just as long as it holds the wood together, so you can cut it all in one go. And also the reason you do this is you can keep taking it apart easily. We're not going to glue any of this wood right until the very end. Getting near the end of the video for this one. I'm going to run out of time in a minute. What I'll do, I'll just get this all together to show you. One more. Yeah, you could do screws that go all the way through, it don't really matter. Uh, just cut, cut the ends off or just leave them. With the one I did before, I just left them, you know. Yeah. <coughs> right, that's your wood all screwed together, ready to cut out. Can't see it. It's all screwed together, ready to cut out, so you can you can cut it out in one go, and then you've got the whole you know, all three pieces done, you don't have to cut them separately, and they'll all be the same size. Alright, that's the end of this part. Part four, I think. I, I, I can't remember, yeah, this was part three. Part four is coming up next. And that'll be cutting this out and sanding it smooth. <coughs>